Hey, hey, section four, believe what they consistently show you. Now, this is something that I have to teach you because being a man, I would consistently show things that women would consistently ignore. So you cannot go off of the one good day a week, the one good week a month, the three good months a year. You have to look at consistency. What do they consistently show you? That's who they are. That's what they do. So who are they the most? Who are they most consistently? And pay attention to that. So what happens is I see so many people, they are hurting, hurting, hurting. You're crying, you're broken, you're down. But then your partner makes you laugh. You go to the theme park and you ride roller coasters and you have an amazing day. You let that amazing day to where you had this amazing day, then you went home that night, you made amazing love. You let that day wipe out the last four weeks of pain and agony and stress and frustration and anger and resentment. You let it wipe it out. And you have this amazing day. You may have two or three strung together in a row, but then boom, it comes back. The same nagging, you know, anger, frustration, arguing is right back. And now you're like, whoa, you're back arguing, screaming, stuff being thrown, or maybe it's not being thrown, but you're crying and somebody has to leave. Somebody has to sleep on the couch, you know, or you're on the phone and somebody hangs up and now you're right back in this cycle and you go through this again. And then once again, they pick you back up, stitch you back together, put your eyes back on, sew your arm back on, put you back together. And then you say, OK, well, you know, maybe it's cool. Maybe it's cool. You're together six months, then you break up for a month. You're together a year, you break up for two, three months. You on again, off again, break up to make up. But you are ignoring what they show you consistently. Understand this, this is what I need you to get from this, is that an adult has the ability to grow, to learn, and to change. I remember working in the group home system and I was working with these men and I was talking to the behavior specialist and she said to me, she said, Tony, these men are labeled, you know, mildly retarded. And I was like, hmm, well, you know, what does retarded mean? And she said, retarded means that they don't have the ability to adapt. So what we do is we test them and we push them to the edge. And if you are not retarded, you can adapt. But if your brain is not fully developed and you are what we label them as mildly retarded, then you lose it, you go off. So what will happen is these individuals, if, if I say, hey, you know, don't forget to clean your room. So a person who, whose mind is fully developed may get upset may not like that but may understand like okay i gotta clean my room you know this is what i have to do and this is even a child but this would be adult men who would just go off f you you in you this you that i mean call me the n-word curse me out go off fly off a handle some of them may pick up a chair and throw it all because I said, hey, don't forget to clean your room. And so that is what the behavior specialist meant by they are mildly retarded. So this is what I need you to understand. If you're dealing with somebody who brain is fully developed and they can comprehend and they can adapt, then they can learn how to treat you in a relationship. It does not, it is not rocket science. It is not that hard. Like the first time I tried to yell at my wife, I was 21 years old. She was 19, 20. Um, she shut me down. 
she shut me down and told me, don't talk to me like that. She put her hand up. She said, mm, don't talk to me like that. And I was like, whoa, guess what? I never yelled at her again. In that moment, she taught me that if I want to talk to her, I got to have a room tone and I got to come correct. I got to be respectful. I came home five o'clock in the morning one time. I'm knocking on the door, knocking on the door. She didn't answer. Didn't answer, didn't let me in. When I finally talked to her, she said, you said you would be back by midnight. You came back 5 a.m. You're never coming to see me past the time that you told me you would be there. I was like, whoa, wow. Whereas most women would have opened the door, fussed and cussed, and then got in the bed and made love. My wife did not reinforce that. So guess what? From that day forward, I kept my word. If I say I'm gonna be here at this time or I'm gonna call you at this time, I kept my word because my mind is able to adapt. So if you're dealing with somebody, unless you are dealing with a person who is really, literally mildly retarded or you know, slow learning, or learning disability in that area to where they can't comprehend or adapt unless you literally are dealing with a person like that the adult or the person you're dealing with can change can grow and if they don't it's because they don't want you and they don't respect you believe what they consistently show you hey we'll talk soon